Hi, this is Esther. Welcome to my channel. This is Stampin' Star Creations. I wanted to show you the background of how I made the cards and made the rainbow effect. I've gone ahead and cut out all those lovely colourful rainbow butterflies and that was using this butterfly punch here, this paper punch that cuts out all the shapes. And this is from Stampin' Up! It's a duet butterfly punch. Just showing you on my colour wheel, we're using red, yellow and blue, the primary colours mainly for the inks and then we're filling them in in between. Getting one wet baby wipe, folding it in half and half again and then this just creates the felting for the ink to go on and wrapping it round an acrylic block which is normally used for stamps. So I'm using these reinkers which are used to go on the ink pads to get them nice and juicy again. So the colours are Real Red, Daffodil Delight and Pacific Point. So the red, yellow and the blue and then I'm coming in with Pumpkin Pie which is the orange colour to fill in between the red and yellow and using Pear Pizzazz for the green which sits in between the yellow and the blue and then Rich Razzleberry, the purple at the end. I'm just swiping it across the paper so you get to see what this looks like and I've got my gloves on to protect me. Okay, for card number one, a nice basic design. So you've got your folded card and a piece of one and a half inch strip of card rainbow paper to stick along the bottom. In this one, I've used the bigger uh, colours that are in between. So starting with the red, yellow, the blue and then adding in the big purple. So arrange this on the card however you like and now I've done mine in like a bow design. Then I've used the smaller butterflies to fill in the gaps. So the orange, the green and then the indigo or the navy blue colour. Nice and simple and you can kind of work with the design to make it your own. So for card number two, this is what I'm calling a split card. So I've already cut a, a strip, a one inch strip off the side and then cut another inch strip away from the middle. So we, I've used the one and three quarter inch circle punch to create these circles from the rainbow paper. And I've placed that at the bottom of the card. Now, just remember, you want to put the glue on just the sides of the circle. Try not to get yourself into too much of a sticky mess. Just got a bit of washi tape, like paper tape, to stick down my card so I can lay down my design where I want them. For this, I've used the alternative butterfly, so the smaller red one, then the bigger orange, smaller yellow, bigger green, smaller blue, and so forth. So you do want some of the butterflies to lay across the card to be able to stick them together. In my final design, I did stick more butterflies across the middle. For the third card, the pop-up card. So you should have a piece of rectangle strip for the middle and in your kit, if you bought the kit from me, I've also included a gold background which you can put underneath that rectangle and using the butterfly punch again with this lovely gold glittery paper, I'm putting my main butterfly in the middle and then the two at either end. For each large butterfly in your set, I'm just folding these in half, going in the rainbow order, just squeeze the middles, fold it in half and squeeze the middle where the body is, because you want these to be in half. So give them a pinch and make sure they're nicely creased. And we're going to group these together one by one. Now, when I first did this, I made the mistake of gluing too much. You just want to put together the top half of the butterfly. So just gluing the tops of the wings. And then sticking it with the next colour. So the top of the previous wing and then stick on the next one. It's a little bit complicated to know how to tell you how to stick this in. So you want to, if you're doing it in the same rainbow order, you want to stick the purple one down first, but just experiment with how your card is going to close and make sure that the butterflies fold in a concertina and fold nicely when the card folds. You don't want to spread them out too wide, but about mm, two and a half to three inches away from the centre. Then bring the top of your card, close it over 
and put a bit of glue on the red butterfly to stick that down. I hope that makes sense and I hope you can work that bit out. So enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed these three ideas. Thank you.